hi guys so if you can't tell by my voice um i'm sick so sorry for disappearing for like two weeks let me explain myself so for the first week i was taking care of my partner because he was sick it is covid by the way it's horrible anyway and for the whole first week i was just kind of like in in mom nurse mode because you know i got a kid in the house i've got a dog in the house i gotta take care of them while also taking care of this man who's turned into a, a child so it's like uh, and i'm trying not to get sick myself i've got to get the kid to school i've got to be picking him up and taking him home i've got to make sure the dog's okay i gotta make sure i'm paying attention to both of them so that they don't feel neglected and then here we go i did not get it for like six days i thought i was clear i thought i was good I was like, dang, that cold I just had that kicked my butt must have been COVID because I can't get this one. Nope, yeah, I got it. It just took six days to get to me. So on Saturday, it's going to have a real cool Renaissance Fair uh, video. No, nah, didn't get that one. I got sick. So I've been sick since Saturday. Today is Thursday. Today's the first day I can talk without it sending me into a fit of coughing. And also, like, I, today is, like, the first day I've washed my hair and showered in, like, four days. It's kind of gross. So, I didn't film this entire week. So, let me update you because you've missed two weeks of my life. Good thing for you is when I was super busy taking care of people, I wasn't reading that much. And for the last, like, up until yesterday, I wasn't reading very much. Yesterday, I started reading again. So let me catch you up on what you've missed. Okay. Audiobooks. I did finish The Mystery of Alice. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, if I'm going to be honest with you, I was zoned out half the time. And then when I was paying attention, it was just, it was too juvenile for me. So, I don't know. If you're a middle grade reader, I think you'd love it. But if you're above that and you like more of a, a challenging read, no. And I started more bedtime stories for cynics, or cynics, I don't know how you say the word. I'll be honest, I read, or I listened to like 10 minutes of it, and I stopped listening. Physical books. I gave Little Miss Joy's Cuddle Oats about 30 more minutes of my time with this book before I was like, this is not something that I can mentally capacitate right now, so we're going to put her on a DNF for right now. Okay, we're going to take a pause, take a break. Maybe my brain is better suited for this. I don't know. It's really boring so far. And uh, I just don't... Ugh, it's politic heavy and I don't like that. And it's just weird. So I put that away. And I did my little my little shake up my box. And I pulled out a random slip of paper. And what do you think I pulled out? Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. Of course. Yes, I'm going to be reading that. Of course. It's spooky season. So the first day that I opened it, I got to page 78. And then I put a bookmark in her and I haven't touched her since. She's really good by the way. I'm obsessed with it. I just have not been in the mood for physical books because I've been so tired. I mean, I haven't been in the mood for like any books recently, but I've been really tired. So I have not been in the mood to read a physical book. So I have not picked it up since. And that was last week, probably about Thursday. Um, on Friday, I was just really tired. And then on Saturday is when I got sick. So, finally, yesterday, I finished The Medium of Brandon Bay. Very cute read. Very easy read. Found out there's five more books in the series. And you can get them through Amazon's Kindle Unlimited, right? And I'm like, oh, that's how they get you on those free book days. And I'm like... I'll give you the first book of the series free, but you got to get Kindle Unlimited or buy the books to finish it if you really like it. And it hinted at the next book so much that I'm like, mm, I kind of want to read the next book. So I did. I got Kindle Unlimited. But because the Amazon Prime Day thing that they were doing, the first three months are free. So I will not be paying for it till January. So by the end of December, I will decide if I want to keep it or not, depending how much I'm actually able to read using the Unlimited app. I also went ahead and picked a new book of my ebooks to read, and I started doing 
A match made in hell. Okay. Do we see that we're on chapter eight? I started reading this last night and I got 75 pages in in one sitting. That seems to be my thing. When I read this, 75 pages in. When I read this, 75 pages in. So maybe that's my thing. My thing is I get 75 pages in and then I decide if I like it or not. I did not get 75 pages into Joyce Carol Oates, The Accursed, but I tried. Um, I did try. I really did. It was a it was a solid try, but I just could not. It just was not working for me, so I had to put her down. I had to. That was too big of a book to be carrying the guilt of not being able to finish, so I just took it off my plate entirely. Um, but yeah, so this is a vampire thing that I'm reading right now. It's called Bound to Vampire. It is a match made in hell. Okay, this is my first, like, so I read Icebreaker which is very steamy, very uh, smutty, a little bit, okay? This is a steamy enemy to lovers paranormal reverse harem. Okay, my first initial thought after reading the first like chapter, wow, I really don't like the person's writing style. <laughs> but... There's something about the character development that I love. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's so crazy because it's like, it's so teenage-y in my mind. Like, it's like some angsty teenager is writing it, even though that we're following an adult. Um, it just gives me like angsty teenager vibes. But, I, and at first I was like, mm, I really don't think this writing style is for me. I really don't think I'm going to read this. But then the characters came into play. And I'm not going to lie. They do a really good job at portraying the different personality traits of all the different characters. And actually keeping them separate. To the point where they just like talk about somebody's body language. And I already know which person they're talking about. And it's like, whoa, okay, that's pretty good. You did pretty good there. I'm telling you the tension. I think is what keeps me reading. So not only is the personality development pretty good, but the tension between a couple of the characters, it's like, oh my goodness. It makes me feel giggly. It makes me feel like a teenager again, which I'm not that old. I'm going to be honest. How old do you think I am? How old do you think I am? Because I'm really not that, I'm not that old. I can't even tell you if you're right, but I just want to know what you guys think that I am based on like how I look. How I act. How old do you think I am? Anyway. I do have a lot of things in my life that are not consistent with my age though. Like I've been able to accomplish a lot in my life for how old I am. So. I don't know what that what that tells you but I'm not going to give you any details. Anyway. I got tons of mail while I was sitting there bed rotting. So we're just gonna go ahead and open them. So Pinch Me, um, that is the company that you get free samples through. I don't even sign up for stuff through them anymore. They just still send me boxes. Swiss Miss Marshmallow, hot chocolate mix. We have Welly Band-Aids. I actually really like Welly Band-Aids. They're actually one of my favorite bandage companies. I just think they make really good, really just one Band-Aid. My thing is, why is that a sample? Oh, HelloFresh Milk Kit, always. Uh, the Takuma Body anti aging Body Lotion. Ooh, Twix Salted Caramel. I love salted caramel. It was a cookie bar. That's probably going to get eaten right now. An Ultima Strawberry Margarita Flavored Drink Mix. But it looks like it's an electrolyte packet as well. Love that. Two more things. Ooh, a Cranberry Cosmo. That is going to be my name all over. I don't like margaritas, but Cosmos. Ooh, Cimadil. Cimadu. Cimadu Liquid Matte Lick Stick. In the shade 02. Whatever the heck that means. Ooh, I would wear that. I would 100% wear that. Packaging is super cheap. 
That smells like a Starburst. Ooh. You guys, I lost my sense of smell for like four days. I thought I was done for. See, the first time I ever had the bed, this is number three, unfortunately. First time I ever had it, lost my sense of smell for two days. That's it. Um, never really lost my taste, just my smell. Uh, this time, tasting the smell gone. I was like, are you kidding me? Because my partner lost it the very first time for six months. They weren't even sick anymore. It took him six months to taste things again. And when he could finally taste something, it was like, it was skewed. It wasn't the way he remembered tasting things. So I was like, please don't be me. Please don't be me. I don't want that. I, I cook. I love to cook. I love coffee. Like, I was drinking my coffee and I couldn't taste a dang thing. It was just hot liquid. I was like, it might as well be hot water. I didn't even use creamer. I was like, why waste it? Can't taste it anyway. But my taste is back and my smell is back, so we're good. Amazon. All right, buy a 10. I am working with this company. What am I doing? I need to take a, I need to take photos of this product. We'll actually just probably get that done today because that's an easy one. Biotin Shampoo and Conditioner by the company Insta Skincare. I've worked with them before. I have done a couple um, actual like skin moisturizers through them. This one I did have to take photos with already because they were due um, yesterday. So I went ahead and tried to put this much of a smile on as I could. Thank God it's only photos and I didn't have to do a video because talking yesterday would have sent me into a coughing fit. But this is one of those like wrinkle things. Turn it on and it has different modes. Okay. And then you just like it vibrates and you like go across your skin. I don't know if my hand motions are going to do anything for you but it just goes across your skin, and that's how you get lifted. I don't know, it's supposed to help with wrinkles and all kinds of stuff. Earth Rated, this is a dog pet company. Aw, Gus packed my box. I hope you love this as much as we did. Speaking of dogs, hi babies. Oh, shut up, that is so cute. They like wrapped it all super cute. All right. Booty, these are for you. Oh yes, we go through a ton of dog wipes. Booty loves being outside and he's crazy, he's dirty, okay? And uh, he's got the type of skin that you can't be giving him baths very often. He gets once a month a bath and then he gets wiped down with a scented wipe and through his paws like every other day. These are 100 plant-based dog wipes for a quick and clean and gentle clean. And this is lavender scented very cool everything looks like it's recycled too Ooh, uh, is this the last thing in this box it is okay this is oh it has a little hang thing for your belt loop and it's just a little dog um like a a poop bag dispenser it has 15 bags in it that is awesome. And that's my color. I love that color. I did get one other package from them. And this one is from Annie. Thank you, Annie. Um, this entire company, I'm working with them to do reviews. I, it just, I got sent free product for review. This is oatmeal scented dog ear wipes, which... I definitely have a doggy that has some ear problems. He's got the fold over ears, have a pug, and you gotta keep their ears clean. So, all of this I will be reviewing. Thank you so much, Earth Rated. Next we have two potpourri, potpourri. Oh shit. I love that. Life is about to smell way better. I hope so. What we got? Now that I can actually smell, I did not want to, I knew what these were, obviously, because of what was on the box, but I did not want to open them until I could smell. So this is a air and a fabric. I didn't know they made, like, Febreze, but it's a multi-purpose odor eliminator. 
fresh air scented clean and natural all right we're gonna smell it because i'm not i'm not spraying it but we're gonna smell it i love everything that smells good whoa fresh and clean i'll say it smells fresh and kind of like zesty like a little bit of zest I'll say my smell is definitely not perfect yet, but I, it smells a little zesty, which I'm not against. I like that. All right, one more from them. And it is a trash can odor eliminator spray. Ooh, lime zest and matcha. That sounds delicious. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited for my trash can to smell like this. Like, that's amazing. Thank you, Home Paris, for some really cool stuff. I'm also reviewing those for them. I'm acting like they just sent it to me just to send it to me. No, I signed up for them. But <laughs> it's still a surprise what I get in the mail because I, I get a lot of things that I don't know. So that's really fun. Good morning. I have a raging headache. Otherwise, I feel... Not too bad. The headache, though, is killing me. And I know it's because I was up till 4 a.m. Because I was reading for a very long time. And then about, like, 2 a.m., I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to try to go to sleep. And then my dog decided he needed to make an impromptu bathroom trip at 2.30, 3 a.m. So, I didn't get to sleep till, like, 4. So, and then I woke up at 11. So, I got six hours of sleep, but... My body's so messed up from that alone. I don't know. I took headache medicine, so hopefully that kicks in. I had oatmeal for breakfast, so I wouldn't take it on an empty stomach. And then I do have a coffee right now. Regardless if I feel shitty or not, I have got to clean up this office. It looks atrocious in here right now. There's just stuff everywhere. I need to go through my bins. I need to break down boxes. I went ahead. I did go ahead and bring up my recycling basket. This is everything I put boxes broken down into and then right before recycle comes and picks up every week, I fill up my trash can as much as I can with anything out of this bin. So, um yeah, it's Friday, which is nice. My house has not been cleaned all week, which is not nice. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't feel like cleaning it right now. But I at least got to clean up the office because it looks horrible. If you must ask why I was up till 2 almost reading, I'm on page 161 of A Match Made in Hell. Wow. <laughs> I'm not even going to be spoiler free, okay? Uh, skip ahead, like, I'll put timestamps, but... Let's let's just talk about this for a minute. If you haven't read it yet, I think it's honestly kind of good. You might want to read it. <sighs> but, so this girl, one of the people that she's teamed up with, have like... Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. Let me bring you closer for a minute. Alright, you ready? So we're about to get up close and personal. So in this book, there are covens okay covens covens uh, i don't know but basically what a coven means is you all are in love with each other and you just have big orgies every time i think yeah um and so this one dude is like i'm a solo witch i'm a solo vampire i ain't gonna do shit like i ain't settling for nobody because my brother his whole coven got taken away and he was so heartbroken he might as well die too and I don't want to create bonds like that and have everybody ripped away because nothing's, nothing's permanent, you know? Which I'm like, wow. And then, but all three guys that are hooked up with this girl, right? Okay, she's a vampire hunter and they are vampires. Now it's coming out that vampires are actually witches and bloodsuckers are the only ones that are actually like vampires as we think of it who can't control their bloodlust, right? And so these are actual vampires. She dated one of them. The other one's the twin of the one she dated. And then 
the twin dated the one guy that says I ain't gonna ever do a coven. So it's like, whoa, there's a lot of chemistry there. There's a lot of history there. Okay, so. What made me stay up so late is I just had to know what was freaking going on. Sound like she was about to make up with her hands, right? Like, oh, let's put the past behind us. They kissed a few times. It was magical. Literally, because there's magic all throughout this whole book. But, oh man, when I tell you that this man is written so fine. So fine. Mm. Then she's like a little drunk. And she's like, I'm going to patch things up. I'm going to go into the room that I think he's in. And I'm going, I'm fixing to mess around. You know what I'm saying? And she does just that. And then last minute, she realizes this man had a top knot. And her mans do not. Which means she just literally put in her, her dude's twin. She just got that in there. Excuse me? That's kind of hot. <laughs> I mean, the best of both worlds. <laughs> and her dude's twin, who actually kind of has a crush on her, is like heartbroken. Her man's is pissed off that she would even think about sleeping with her his brother, and and his twin, and and she was like not even trying to explain to him what happened. The twin was trying to explain. She thought I was you. So, like, if that makes you feel better, then so be it, dude. But, like, she thought I was you. And and he really don't give a fuck. So, yeah. So, there was a lot of drama going on because of that very steamy situation. And I could not put the book down. I kept telling myself, Lexi, your eyes are burning. You gotta go to bed. But then my, my body was like, mm, I don't know, but this finger, it keeps turning the page. It keeps turning it. Don't know how to tell it no. So, uh, yeah, that's why I was awake for a very long time last night. I'm just gonna film myself cleaning up this office because it looks atrocious in here. I'm sorry about my double chin. Like, I I'm a fat girl. I don't know what to tell you. Obviously, I read books, so I ain't moving very much. I'm gonna keep drinking my coffee and we're gonna clean this thing up. Oh, man. I hate the bed. 10 out of 10, do not recommend, okay? The headache is killing me. Alright, let's set this camera up properly. sweating i broke down all the boxes i filled up the whole dang basket but i still need to clean off the top of my table clear out my bins underneath the table and yeah there's still like a lot to do <laughs> and i'm sweating and my head hurts and i want to sit down it's a bad day in the neighborhood So my sick brain forgot to get b-roll but I did start 
This is the linen stitch. I started one of my mini Christmas gifts this year. So, yeah, that'd be exciting. And um, yeah, so yeah, this is the linen stitch. It is literally so easy to do if you crochet. I just have a size four yarn and I'm using a 5.5 hook. Yeah, a 5.5 hook. And what you do is after you do your foundation stitch, you're just gonna go every other stitch, do one single crochet, and then you're gonna chain one. And then you keep doing that, so single crochet, chain. So you're just creating holes, right? And then in those holes on the next one, that's where you're gonna put your single crochet. And you're just alternating holes. And it's really cute. I really like the linen stitch because it's very breathable, so. This will be warm, but it will also allow a lot of air to come through. So, I love the linen stitch for any type of blanket. Plus, it looks cute. Like, it's beautiful. And it goes so much faster because you're only doing half of it per row. So, you get two rows done in the time it would take one. So, if it is like a blanket or something, your project gets done pretty fast. So, I really love the linen stitch. It is great. I apologize for my hair. The sick vlogs are where you get in the real me, man. That's just, that's what it is. I need to talk about something. I gotta stop looking over here. You're over here. I finished my ebook last night at 2 a.m. I finished it. Wanted to, st I literally had enough energy I could have stayed up and started reading half of the next one. It's 300 pages. Um, but I said no. I said go to sleep. I did, and it was great. It was much needed. <clears throat> but I finished that book in, I think, three days. Um, who? Me? Really? The girl who reads one book a month? Let me explain. I don't just read one book a month. Usually, I start, like, six books, but I only finish one book every month. But I'm making a habit of being better about that because I really love to read, and I have so many books, and I have so many things I want to read. So that's why we're working on this and creating reading vlogs because that's what I want to be. That's who I am. Okay, so I feel like since I've even started vlogging, I've finished like three books. So that's awesome. I'm very excited. Oh, my dog wants to come say hi. Hello. How are you? Are you good boys? Oh, he wants to lay down. Okay. Go ahead. Get in there. He's laid down. Okay. So I finished that book last night. It was called uh, A Match Made in Hell. It's part of the Bound the Vampires thing. Oh my god, you guys. I'm not even going to spoil the ending. You just got to go read it. It is on Kindle Unlimited. It is free. Or if you've been following my TikTok, you know that it was a free book. Um, not that long ago. And a little book giveaway at the very beginning of the month. Um, so, like, if you have that copy, just read the first one. You'll love it. And then you'll want to get Kindle Unlimited so you can read the rest. You know? So, uh, yeah. I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end, but I'm going to tell you to read it. I gave it a five stars. Even though, at the beginning, I really didn't like the writing style. Just because <coughs> it was just really juvenile and aggressive. As the story continued, I realized that that was, like, intentional. Because she starts changing. Like, it's written where the chapters are in a different person's point of view. And she starts changing the chapters throughout the book to different people's point of view. Just the beginning of the book was all this one person. And I was like, ugh, not loving it. Just really not loving it. But when I see the other people's point of views and the writing style is completely different, I'm like, well, dang. I see why you did that now. That's actually genius. That was awesome. So I really liked it at the end. And it did have some spice. I'm going to say the spice level is honestly like out of five stars where you're like full blown, super detailed, basically erotica, right? And one star being there's kissing scenes, right? I will put this at a 2.5. Like there's definitely a couple scenes. So if you don't like that, then don't read it. But there's a couple scenes and I don't know. It's like... It's not crazy graphic. 
a lot of it's left to your imagination too. So, uh, I say spice level 2.5 to 3. Like, it's definitely there, but it's not smut, and it's not quite erotica. Which is great, because I was looking for a story. I just think, now I don't like clean romances anymore. I've realized I'm not a clean romance girl. They don't do it for me. I probably will be starting the second book today. Oh, probably. I will most definitely be reading it today because I'm obsessed. And the thing is, is it's a trilogy. I read a little bit of an excerpt at the end of the book. So remember when I was like, you know, it's about her mentor, the, the first standalone book that's supposed to be like a prequel to this. Um, it's set 20 years ahead of this when the mentor was in academy and I kind of just now that I know more about it because they keep hinting at it and then there was an excerpt at the end of the book and it was like how Namu found her coven mates and she she's in a very committed relationship with three guys I don't even know if that's something I'm interested in, but I don't know. It is a standalone. It has now made it to the maybes of my I might read. This woman does also, the author Tracy Lovelot, she does also have a six-part fantasy series that follows a queen, which I just might have to. Like, I, I literally might have to. Like, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I don't know. I really like her writing style now that I understand why she does what she does. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think a queen sounds much more cooler than, well, I don't know. Because these are demon hunters. So, they're like, it's like supernatural on steroids. Now, I'm in a habit where I want to read for an hour at least every single night before bed. And here's the thing. I usually start reading at like 10 or 11. Last night it was 11, and then I don't stop until it's 1 or 2 a.m. So, I'm definitely getting my hour in. <laughs> definitely getting it in. But yeah, I started using a new book app just to kind of like see different options out there. There's this app called Bookly. I really love the app. It tracks how long it takes me to read something. And, like, how many pages it has. And it accurately will tell me based on my reading speed, like, how much longer I have left. I know that Kindle does, but it is almost never accurate for me. What I really need to do is read my physical book. I also need to walk on my treadmill because that's when I get a lot of physical book reading done. Love to walk and read. Love it. It's amazing. I, I did it when I was a kid. I still do it now. Except now I just have a treadmill. I'd like to go read right now. I do have my coffee. I'm gonna make my coffee. And I think I'm gonna just play some games. I also still need to finish cleaning that. You know what, no. I'm gonna make my coffee and then we're gonna finish cleaning up that office because I got distracted hardcore yesterday and I started organizing all of my yarn. I got my yarn from nine shelves down to seven, I believe. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish cleaning that office and then we're gonna play some games. We're gonna play some games today. update on my life laugh can i put you here or is that weird what's up girls it's a little update oh man today's saturday 
which means it is whiskey allocation drop day, which means um, my partner and I, we went shopping this morning. And then last night, I didn't include video footage of this because I don't know if I can put that on YouTube without special warnings or anything, but we've been going through every single one of our whiskeys and trying out, like blind testing them so that we can see which one is our actual flavor. So we did round two today, round one yesterday. And then tonight, much later, because we're going to give ourselves a few minutes to collect our thoughts, okay? We don't want to overdo it. Um, we're going to do the top three that we loved and then put them all against each other. But yeah, I'm going to go back to playing my game. I did get some crocheting done earlier as well. But I'm going to go back to playing my game and then I'll have an everything shower tonight because I want one. So, I'll be back. It is nighttime and I am about to read a bit of Home Before Dark and hopefully maybe get like 50 pages in and then I'm probably gonna go to bed because it's late already. It's already midnight and I'm just now laying down in bed. I did take a shower. What else did I do? I went to Wendy's and I got the Krabby Patty meal. That was dinner tonight and honestly... It's kind of mid even like the the pineapple um the uh, frosty is like the hype for me and it really wasn't that great like there's just it's just a little bit of pineapple gel on the bottom of a vanilla frosty and you have to mix it in yourself and uh it doesn't really taste make the whole thing taste like i i don't know in my head i thought dole whip <laughs> But that's not what happened, so I'm going to go ahead and read, and I'll check in with you tomorrow to tell you how far along I've gotten with reading, and yeah. Good night, guys. Good morning, babies. You want Papa Chino? Good boy. Oh my goodness, it's everywhere. Good morning. So, last night, I read until... 126 page 126 so i got about 52 pages in wow it's getting real good home before dark is definitely gonna spook me out i can tell already um i've already yelled at the character a couple times what are you doing oh my god but also it's so cool how it puts today's present time together with the book that was written in the past that has haunted her her whole life and I just thought that it's done really well. The writing style is great. I love it. So I just gave my dog a little puppuccino while I have my own coffee somewhere up there. There you go. And yeah, I need to go ahead and put all the cold stuff away. And then honestly, I'm probably going to game again. I know I play old lady games, but it's because it's nostalgia. Um, like for instance, the big city adventures, my grandma and I used to do those together. So it's purely for the sense of wanting to be so close to something that was close to her. So she's not gone or anything. I just don't see her that often. They don't really live in my town for very long of the year. They have a vacation home. So, Anyways, I'm probably going to play that game some more, and if not, I'll probably look for another game that's on that platform, because I'm just not in a reading mood right now. I woke up late today. I woke up at 10.30, because I was on TikTok till like 2.30. I've really got to get my sleep in check, because starting next, well, literally tomorrow, Gonna have to start waking up at 6.30 every day again. So, that's gonna bite me in the butt. <laughs> so I gotta do that. Look at this boy. Why are you splutin'? You splatting out? You splutin'? I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> um, I do have plans today though. We're going to a dinner. So, that'll be fun. And... 
that's it i'm going to a dinner so i'll have to get ready for that later but at least there will be some different footage today be honest this weekend's vlog did not go very well and it is mainly because i'm still sick and i'm getting over the sick brain and that is a hassle in itself but tonight is sunday i did get a little bit of some footage of my dinner but i was so hungry that i forgot until after i already cut up all my steak and everything it was supposed to be a cute little moment it didn't happen like that that's fine that's fine i'm fine with that so I did go to the Birthday Boys house, acquire some books. So let's go ahead and talk about what I got. So I was given all of these to keep. So we have Birdman by Mo Hader. Uh, trigger warning, lots of violence. Uh, the Three Body Problem, which I've been wanting to read for a very long time. And I definitely want to read this before I watch the Netflix thing. This is the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemison. Jim Jemison. Uh, the fifth season, the Obelisk, the Obelisk Gate and the Stone Sky. So, did get a trilogy. And last but not least, I got a copy of Dune by Frank Hubert. So or by Frank Herbert. Very, very fun. I will add them all into my physical TBR and place them on the shelf. I do have an open shelf for them now. This shelf right here is for new books. We are months away from my birthday, but I did get my birthday gift for myself. I always get myself one cool thing to treat myself with because Throughout the year, I never get myself like treat yourself items because like I buy things that I need or I buy, if I'm buying books, which are like, I guess a treat yourself item, I always buy used. So I allow myself to usually get either a big item I've been wanting or a book series I've been wanting or something just, and I, I get everything new, okay? So my treat yourself was I got the entire box set of throne of glass all of them all eight books all hard covers with beautiful inside pages in a wonderful display box originally over 200 almost close to 300 dollars, but it was on sale for 109 i also had a 50 dollars gift card and about $50 in cash back on my credit card. So I got it for like 20 bucks after tax, 20 bucks. We are that much through, the front of the book is on this side. So we're that much through on page 120. And I stopped reading at a point that I don't usually stop reading. So like when I, I like to read chapter by chapter, but when I stop a chapter, they have the the pickup from the actual book that she keeps referencing throughout the entire novel but i didn't because i was really tired last night and my partner wanted to go to bed so i had to stop but anyway so i'm going to finish that and then hopefully get one or two more chapters in which is chapter plus excerpt um which put me about halfway through the book so i'm hoping to reach the halfway point and then if i'm still not tired which I need to be going to bed at a normal time today. I cannot be doing 2 a.m. like I've been for the last five days. I need to be asleep by midnight, which means it's 8.38 and the day is being wasted. I need to have all of my electronics off by like 10.30, maybe 11, because it takes me about an hour to fall asleep. It's kind of bad. I also have to go take my makeup off. I am doing a project pan, if you didn't know. Maybe I should do a video on that. I've been doing a project pan and I have so much makeup in my collection. I started hoarding makeup when I was in high school and I've not bought makeup in like four years. So, yeah, I don't buy makeup. I just don't. 
and I wear makeup daily and I haven't bought makeup in four years and I keep getting rid of stuff like I literally I just decided to randomly go through my blushes tonight and I threw one of them away because the color payoff was not working which means it's expired like it was not color paying off and I did the trick with the tape to see if maybe it was just hard on top no it has just lost its spunk it has become a dust so got rid of one I'm just randomly getting rid of stuff but anyway I don't even know why I said that <laughs> the whole reason I'm even talking about makeup I'm trying to use up what I have so I'm doing like a project pan and I keep everything in this little blue box over here I need to probably do a project pan I'll show everything that's in my collection right now or not my collection everything that I'm working on right now that could be really fun I'm just trying to come up with content ideas for YouTube because I've I used to have a channel when I was in high school and it got hacked and then banned so bad um but now that's not really something that I I don't know I feel like I've lost my touch my homework this next week is to watch other people's vlogs so I can understand better content that people would actually want to see so or your homework is to go into the comments and comment down below what you want to see from me like what what do you want to see in a weekly vlog i am more than just reading of course i have a life i have a job i love beauty i love to cook there are so many things about me so i would not hate exploring different avenues i just want to know where you guys actually interested in seeing of course so just let me know in the comments what you're interested in seeing and maybe I can integrate that into next week's vlog. Comment down below what you want to see. Because I am more than just a reader. I'm in everything. I'm a crafter. I'm a gamer. I do everything. Um, obviously, I know I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do the makeup thing. Because that just sounds fun. But for right now, I'm going to go wash my face. Brush my teeth. Put my PJs on. And then I'm going to read Home Before Dark by Riley Seeker. Hopefully, I'm, I'm aiming for the halfway point. And I will see you guys next week. This is Sunday night, so it is the very end of this vlog. And I will see you next week. I keep not looking at the camera, so I'm really sorry if my eyes are, are weird. You're down here, but I keep looking up here. But you're down here, so I'm sorry. I'm going to get better at it. It just takes time. <laughs> um, at least we're horizontal this time. We're not vertical, so that's awesome. I'm working on it. <laughs> Um, I did definitely record some clips this, this week with me, uh, not holding it horizontally, so I won't be able to use those, but that's okay. We're learning. It's a learning curve and that's fine. That's what we're here for. But yeah, as always, I will link all of my socials below and any app that I use. I will go ahead and put my link down there as well. So you can follow me on the app if you decide to get it for yourself as well. Um, I will also include every book that we talked about throughout this vlog. So we played a lot of catch up this vlog because I was sick for so long and I couldn't vlog. So all those books will be listed down below. You can have, and I'll have links there so you can go find them yourselves. I'll also have timestamps in the description. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.